<laughs> Selfie time. Congratulations on the new show. Thank you. So what's it like going on a sci-fi show like this on Sci-Fi Channel? I mean, I have a long history with Sci-Fi Channel. I've, I've been working with them for, we won't talk about how long. We are not going to talk about it. Honey. No. <laughs> um, so, I, you know, I really feel a part of the Sci-Fi family. And, and to be back on board with them, it, it really does warm my heart. I'm a genre kid. I've been working in genre for so long. I appreciate it because um, I get to play characters that oftentimes in mainstream television are just not within my purview. Yes. They, they just don't see those girls looking like me. Things have certainly changed um, for the better and I'm, I'm so happy to see that. So many of my friends uh, on network shows, you know, um, but but I'm happy where I am because this, you know, these are my fans. These are these are my people. At the end of the day, we are your people. We're nerdlings or blurbs. Blurbs is what you call it. Is that the new thing? Blurbs. I call myself as a she geek, but I'm called a feminist. What's a blurb though? Black nerd. Blurb. Black nerd. That was embarrassing. Cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> we're all blurred here. Yeah, we're just, no, just cut that we're out. Cut yeah. that. <laughs> um, so can you tell me about your character on the show? Sure. Um, I play Dr. Landis Barker. Yeah, doctor. Doctor, theoretical physicist, honey. Um, right. She sort of failed at life uh, and came to this town to work her way back up uh, to credibility. Um, I like that we sort of find her on her back foot um, with nothing to lose. And um, she, not so much, the, I guess, yes, the voice of reason. She's continually trying to ask the right questions and really find out what's, what's actually going on. Outside of emotionality, what is, what is the measurable, quantifiable essence of what, what's happening and what do we do about it? Um, and she has uh, this entity behind her to support it. In order to figure that out, I know it's it's very cool that that aspect of it that you know all five foot one of me um, and tiny oh in my, my in my so all my little bit of me uh, is in charge of this enormous facility with all these you know these this team of really smart people working underneath me. I have this yeah I, I loved that you know just being a person in in, in a position of Authority. Being a woman, being a black woman, I can't even right. say when I was growing up, I never saw anyone that even remotely looked like me on TV unless they were a criminal or a hooker. Not a theoretical physicist. <laughs> I know. Oh my gosh. There it is. And I know that. Is that what attracted you to the role? Because it's so different. Um, than some of the things I've seen you in the past and more importantly as a woman of color sometimes I, I think sometimes actors don't think about representing the race and to me that role feels so much like a I'm representing the race and reminding you know black girls and black boys you can be a scientist you, you can, can be, be whatever you want right I mean even with my work on on Battlestar Galactica I got involved with um, you know the STEM community and uh, uh, I, I work with a group called Kino Labs um, out of Oakland that does uh, coding, uh, oh, wow. uh, teaches coding to, we call them low opportunity communities. Um, yeah. I know <laughs> Shout out to Kino Labs, exactly. Uh, but, but this is, exactly, STEM is this really accessible way and, the, and there's just this wealth of, of talent and innovation and genius in these communities if only you gave them the tools for it, right? So if I could, if I could play any part in that, that this girl could dream, that this young man could dream, uh, that there's this goal in sight, that it is possible, absolutely. And again, you know, it's these roles that that genre television and sci-fi offer. Right. It's really exciting. Now, what will you be doing in your free time now that you are? What will you be doing in your free time now that they've finished the filming for the very first season? Well, we're almost done. We have a little ways to go. A little ways? Yeah, we're just past halfway through. Mm -hmm. I'm so reinvigorated by this experience to go back and kind of look at the material again and, and get back into the rooms and back into the sets. Um, this has been so exciting, actually. Um, but I, you know, I have some personal pa passion projects that I'll be pursuing after we wrap. Um, it's great that we have this very set. Ra uh, shooting time, um, 
sort of a launching point. Uh, but yeah, I've got a. I've got a film coming out talking about human trafficking, uh, moving parts. Uh, yeah, it's set in the Caribbean. Again, it, and it's a woman's story. It's written about women, directed, written, shot, starring. Uh, the producing team is, is largely all female. So excited about that. And then um, I've had, I, I did a Canadian Heritage Minute that um, speaking about a, a civil rights activist, uh, Viola Desmond, in Canada. Um, that I'm really I just I want it to be on TV so bad but we'll see <laughs> services they need content and they have to start showing us because we pay for the subscriptions the same as everyone else give me the money and i will and i will do it <laughs> who's listening give it hey, to netflix, me <laughs> somebody Amazon, netflix i see you audience, you know me <laughs> hey we know you thank you so much for talking with me thank you.